it's Vass here from Aussie RC Playground and welcome to, I guess you'd call this a flight review of a new aeroplane that I got. This is the Super Cub S, uh, which is from Hobby Zone. It's a Horizon Hobby product. Uh, I'm actually looking forward to getting a few more Horizon Hobby products uh, probably in the near future. So uh, keep an eye out. I'm sure I'll have uh, more of these uh, up and coming. Now you might be thinking, um, what am I doing with a learner plane like this? Because this comes completely ready to fly. It even says on the box, teach yourself to fly. And it has everything you need. You got remote, batteries, chargers, everything is uh, ready to go. And of course it has this safe technology, uh, which of course stabilizes the plane and everything else. So what am I doing with this? Well, to be honest, this is not going to be a plane that's for me. This plane is actually for my son, Noah, who yeah. is going to be, he's got the hiccups, He's going to be um, uh, taking this guy up and learning to fly. Now, are you a little bit excited about this? Yeah. Yeah? Looking forward to it? Yeah. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So, uh, without further ado, let's have a look at what we actually get in the box. So, you can do the honors, Noah. You might be able to help me pull everything out of here. So, see how it all comes packaged up. Nice and easy. There we go. Wow, it's a nice big long box. We can get rid of that now, put that aside. And this is how it comes in the package, as you can see right there. Uh, so this is a three channel wing, uh, sorry, three channel plane, uh, which means that the main wing does not have ailerons, but as you can see, it's got a fair amount of uh, dihedral in it. So this will of course help uh, stabilize the plane as well in flight. Uh, so we can put that guy aside. Here is the main fuselage and you can see it's already got all the electrics already in there. Uh, I can tell by the wiring that this is actually running a brushed motor and it has a fairly flexible prop. So this is not gonna be very fast. And if you do come down a bit heavy on the nose, well, the prop is obviously going to be uh, quite flexible and it's not gonna snap on you. So I think this is gonna be good. Very good learner plane. Um, what else do we have? We have the um, horizontal stabilizer, which is sticky taped underneath here. We'll quickly take this guy out. That comes out. There we go. All right, so there is our horizontal stabilizer, so or also known as our elevator. Um, over here on this side, we have the vertical stabilizer. So that is it there, and it's got a tiny little wheel already pre mounted on there. And I don't think you need uh, glue for this one. I think everything just kind of bolts in. Um, so it should be a very nice, easy build, which is uh, pretty much what you want for a beginner aircraft. Here's our instruction manual. We have the manual for the actual plane itself. There's also an instruction manual for the radio, uh, some other information in here. Uh, we have four double A's. This is obviously for the radio, which um, is zip tied into the box. I'll need to cut that out a bit later on. We have landing gear, we've got a screwdriver, we've got a binding plug, we've got some elastic bands. These are obviously to hold the wing in place so the wing doesn't actually get bolted down, it just has some elastic bands on there. Uh, there's also a um, couple of plastic bits, some screws, so all the stuff you need to obviously uh, finish this guy off. Uh, we have our charger. So this is our wall plug charger and it comes with like this uh, cigarette lighter type of um, socket on there because the actual charger itself plugs into this so it's a really weird thing to do but it's also very clever because you can take this out to the field and you can charge your battery out of the car uh, if you're out in the field if that's you know something that you want to do so uh, that is for our charger and I think it charges via the balance lead um, the battery itself is not very big it is a 1300 milliamp uh, three cell, so it actually runs on a three cell, so that's pretty good. Even for a brushed motor, I think it'll be fine. And last but not least, we have the radio, which, as I said, is zip tied into the box, but I'm gonna try and re be really brutal because I don't have cutters with me at the moment. Um, and here is the radio, which I'll have to uh, get rid of the little zip ties on there. So it's a fairly basic radio. It's not a computerized radio. It's a DX4E. It is a mode two, which is uh, what we're gonna be uh, learning to fly on. Now, do you know what this little button here does on the radio? No. <laughs> that is our panic button. So um, if you're flying along and you um, lose orientation on the planes going into a dive or you're, you, know, you, you wanna get back into control, you push that little button and you hold it and the plane will uh, stabilize itself hopefully in time before you crash. 
Um, of course, you've got all your trimmings on here. The trimmings are analog, um, so they're not a digital trimmings or anything like that. You've also got your rates button, so you've got a high and low rates. Um, and then you've got your three settings, which I'm assuming would be a beginner mode, almost like a training mode. Then you've got an intermediate, and then of course you've got your full expert mode. It looks like the radio may have a speaker, so it may speak back to you and let you know what's going on. We'll soon see. Of course, it has the uh, little belt box on the back for your four double A's, and it even has a trainer port. Now, I don't have a radio to kind of uh, do the trainer thing with him. I don't have another Spectrum radio, but uh, I think it'll be all right. Given that this is a, a three-channel aeroplane, I think we'll be able to put this guy together very quickly. Oh, I just noticed there's also a spare propeller in here. So uh, very, very good, which means that if you do manage to break the stock one, well, at least we have a spare one, yeah? Mm -hmm. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put the plane together very quickly, and uh, then hopefully we'll go out and fly it, and you'll actually see the plane fly in this video, which I think would be very cool, and we'll see you flying it as well, which I think would be even more cool. But we'll see, we'll see. Excited? Yeah. Yeah? All right, so should we get to work and get this thing built up? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Okay, we're all done. This took us all of about uh, 20 minutes, thereabouts. Yeah. Didn't take us very long at all. You really only need to uh, kind of screw in a couple of things. Um, watch your head there. We've got two screws that go on the back here for your vertical and horizontal stabilizers. There's another two here for the uh, wing supports. And then there's four for your wheel pants. So no glue required, uh, no real tricks here. It's all very straightforward. The instruction manual is actually very easy to understand as well. And there's nothing else that you'd really need to plug in. There's no receivers to plug in, anything to bind. Um, all we did was the very first thing we did. What was it? What was the first thing we Put did? Put the battery on charge. Put the battery on charge straight away. So as you're putting the air aircraft together, your battery is getting charged up. Now it's not fully charged, uh, but I just wanted to make sure that it had a little bit of charge in there just so we could test it out and just see how it, everything worked. And um, it does, doesn't it? Yep. So why don't you have a little bit of a fiddle around with the remote. Uh, don't hit the, the throttle though, because that thing might take off on us. So you can have a bit of a toy around with the elevator there and the rudder. All right, very, very good. Um, and just give it a little bit of throttle. A little bit, there you go, yep. Cut it down, there we are. So the way that this one works, it's actually, um, the, the propeller is actually geared, so it's not mounted directly to the motor shaft. There is actually a gear behind it, which makes it a little bit noisy. Um, and uh, that's, you know, the shaft kind of goes off that gear and that's what the propeller mounts onto. So quite a unique uh, design, but obviously this is a brushed motor, so I could understand it being a bit different. Now, with the safe technology, hopefully you'll see this on screen here. As I lower the front end of the plane, you can see the elevator lifting up. So that the plane, that's the plane doing that by itself. If I lift it up, you can see the elevator dropping down. And uh, if I turn the plane, you'll see the rudder turning as well. So you can see the rudder turning by itself. So it's trying to correct the plane and keep it in, in, in uh, level flight. Given that this is a three channel aeroplane, you're not gonna be able to do any rolls or anything like that. Might be able to do a loop, um, given that you, know, you, only, you only really need the elevator to do a loop, but we'll see how that goes. 
Um, but this is of course in beginner mode. Uh, if you switch over to intermediate mode, well, there's no voice activation here, so unfortunately, if you flick it over to intermediate mode, it's going to have less of an effect. And of course, if you flick it over to, um, you know, full uh, expert mode, well, you're not going to have any of that assistance uh, as far as I'm aware. So you're going to be flying it by yourself without the um, safe technology being implemented. So uh, very, very cool. Um, of course, you do have the bailout or the uh, panic button here on the remote. So as you're flying, uh, if you find that you know, you're in a little bit of trouble, just press that button and you're ready to go. So what do you reckon, Noah? Should we go out and fly this thing? Because I'm sure a lot of people want to see you fly. I want to see you fly. I'm really excited. Are you excited? Are you yes. pumped? All right, let's do this. Let's go and take the Super Cub X, uh, S <laughs> out to the field and see how it flies. All right, so uh, here we are. The big day has finally arrived and uh, we're going to be taking up the Super Cub for its maiden flight and Noah's going to be flying an aeroplane for the very first time. Now, the way that this is going to work is I'm actually going to be taking up the plane. I'm going to trim it out, make sure everything's working okay and then I'm going to hand him the remote so you can get a feel of how it is to actually fly an aircraft. Once he gets used to it, um, we'll come down, we'll land, and then I'll see if he can actually take off with it and um, get some altitude and actually do some flying all on his own. I'm gonna keep a close eye on this little panic button that the remote has in case I see him getting into a little bit of trouble. And uh, hopefully everything will come down, uh, well, actually, hopefully the airplane will come down nice and safe. Uh, now, one thing I did forget to mention uh, at the first part of this video, and you might be able to see it there, um, I've got a uh, Western Hobbies sticker on the plane. The reason for that is because I actually got the plane from Western Hobbies, so I do want to give them a little bit of a shout out. Uh, please be sure to check out the video description. I'll have uh, details in there in case you want to ring them or you want to go by and uh, check out what they have in stock. So, without further ado, Noah, let's get this uh, guy in the air and have a bit of fun. Here we go. Here we go. Look at that, takes off so easy. So there's a little bit of a breeze, so it's gonna get moved around a little bit, but if you ever look at my controls, I'm only moving them a little bit. So this turns it. There it is. All right, now I'm gonna flick to beginner mode. So that's in beginner mode. Look at that. I'm banking the stick as hard as I can and it only goes so far so you can't lose it okay I'm at half throttle I'm gonna let go and you take over there you go you're flying pull up a little bit that's it that's it you're flying big boy you're doing it you're doing it okay go to go to your right go to your right nice and easy nice and easy Good, well done. You're flying, man. How do I go down? Don't worry about going down. Just chop your throttle a little bit, that's it. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. You gotta go to the left, otherwise it's gonna go behind you. Okay. All right, I'm gonna get a little bit of throttle up against the wind here. Okay, it's yours again. Okay. There you go. So just try and keep the plane in front of you. So if you see it coming towards us, go to the right, okay? And then once you get to about there, you're going to start turning. So turn to the right, that's it. That's it. All right, straighten up. Perfect. There you go. You're doing it, man. Look, hands off. I'm not touching you. Well done. That's it. You're doing it. You're flying, man. You're up nice and high. But you're flying. You're doing it all on your own. You got plenty of room for mistakes. Oh my god. So if you push forward, push forward, that yeah. dips the nose. See how it's coming down? All right, push up. That's going to oh. lift. Down, up. Okay. You got it? Yeah. But don't go down too far because then because then you might hit the trees, okay? Yeah, I know. I know. All right, you got it? There you go, you're flying again. Good altitude, nice and steady throttle. Very good. Keep turning, keep turning, keep turning. Well done. Straighten up. Well done. There you go. I'm doing it. 
You're doing it, man. All right, you're getting a bit low. So let's give it a little bit of throttle. Yeah. So we can get up a bit. Trust me, I can do it. Okay. So pull up to get altitude. Yeah. That's what I'm doing. Get a bit more throttle. Oh, watch oh. it, watch it, watch it. Let go. That's all right. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm here. All right, we've got some good altitude now. I'm going to ease up on the throttle. We're going to be cruising at about half, maybe just below half. There you go. It's yours again. There you go. Well done. Well done. Keep turning, keep turning, keep turning. Oh, beautiful. Keep going that way. Keep, make sure the plane stays in front of you. Yeah, I know. All right, you're going down, so yeah, pull I up. Know, I know. Okay. Turns very slow in beginner. Whoa, well done. All right, you're losing altitude again. Yeah, I'm, go I'm going up. So give it a little bit of throttle and pull up. Yeah. Keep going straight, keep going that way. Okay. So now I want you to turn left, turn to the left. Okay. That's it. That's it. That's it. Perfect. Now when you come this way, you're going to turn to the right. Okay. All right. So you're going to do like figure eights. So keep going. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Steady on, steady on. Now go to the left. Pull up a little bit just so you have some altitude and miss those posts. Perfect, Noah. You're doing it, man. You're doing it. It's a little wobbly up there because of the wind yeah. and it's only a three channel aeroplane <laughs> but you're doing it you got the hang of it okay let's bring her in for a landing i think we've uh, flown enough yeah i did good you did awesome man i'm so proud of you so i flicked it over into intermediate now i'm chopping throttle going into the wind And she's down. A little bit crooked, but she's down. There we go. High five, man. High five. You flew an aeroplane for the first time. I'm so proud of you. Well done. Well done. All right, so there we go. We are all done. My son has finally flown his aeroplane for the very first time. And it was a successful flight, wasn't it, yeah. Noah? Were you happy? Yeah. You were a little bit nervous at the start? Yeah. Yeah, but you managed it okay. You got the hang of it. Yeah. At one point, I had completely hands off. I had full trust in him. Um, of course, the aeroplane does a lot of the work to make sure that it stays fairly stable. Uh, being a three-channel aeroplane, it kind of self, self levels itself out through the uh, dihedral wings anyway. But with the uh, help of the um, safe technology that's in this plane, uh, definitely helped uh, keep it nice and safe and straight. And uh, it came down to land very, very easy. Yeah. So. Should we go take it up for another flight? <laughs> Why not? Okay. Why not? All right, that's it from us. Thank you all very much for watching. Please be sure to hit the like button before you go. Don't forget to check out the video description for more information on the aeroplane and where I got it from, which was, of course, uh, from Western Hobbies. Uh, that's it from us. Thank you again, and we'll speak to you next time. Let's see if I can do a better landing than I did before. So I'm cutting power a little bit here, slowing it right down, floating it in. That was better, much better. All right, what a great little plane to fly. Absolutely awesome. I might take it up in uh, expert mode and see how that goes. All right, let's do a quick flight in expert. Okay, I'm still in intermediate here. Getting some altitude. Flicking over to pro mode. Yeah, I want to see if I can do a loop. If it'll do a loop. So what we do is we go up a little bit here. 
I'm gonna point the nose down and then full throttle and then throttle off and it does a loop won't do rolls though because of course we don't have ailerons I'm gonna come in for a landing this battery lasts quite a long time throttle off now just letting it glide in so you can pretty much land this thing dead stick without any worries look at that perfect absolutely brilliant well done oh, that was good fun